Continuing this example, in part C, we're asked, in how many years will the population of Tulsa decrease to 300,000 people? So I want to know in how many years, so that's going to be time, how many years So that's T, question mark. Will the population of Tulsa decrease to 300,000 people? So that means the output is 300,000. I want to find the input. So what I need to do is set up an equation where 300,000 is equal to my function for P of T. Now 872 times 0.974 to the T. And right now, the tool that we have to solve this equation is our graphing calculator. So I'm going to let y1 be the left-hand side, y2 be the right-hand side. And when you write up this information on your paper, you should include always the information that I'm going to show here. When you're asked to solve graphically, you need to include enough information so that your instructor knows that you understand how to use your calculator to obtain the result. So part of that is indicating what your functions are. So let's go over to our calculator and for y1 we're going to plug in 300,000 and for y2 we're going to plug in 382,872 parentheses 0.974 exponent t. And we're always going to need to look at our window. So I'm going to say let's go uh, negative 10 to 10 for the input window. And for output, because it's an exponential function, I'm going to start at zero and then I want my maximum to show me the starting point for the graph at least. So I'm going to make my maximum larger than the a value of my function. So let's see if that works. I'm going to write the window here. You should always include the window when you're asked to solve graphically negative 10 to 10, that's for um, input and 0 to 400,000, that's for output. All right, let's hit graph and see what we get. All right, it's not awesome, but it will work. So let's represent the graph here. We have our axis input and output and then let's identify this is y1 equals 300,000 my graph is coming down like this this is y2 let's find the intersection second calc number five and then I'm going to hit enter through the series of questions until I end up at the intersection. So here's the intersection, the value 9.2589. Let's round to the nearest whole year, so that's t equals 9. So I'm going to plot my intersection here, but then I'm just going to come down with a dotted line and say t equals 9. So my result is t equals 9. So we're going to end this with a complete sentence to say in nine years Tulsa will have 300,000 people.